anybody, and I do mean anybody who claims to be Christian, even any Christian preacher, who all they do in their sermons and their teachings, they go political. They're not Christian. They have fallen trap, prey to the deceiver of the of us all. Because you see, if you really look at it, the Savior stood up to the to the political establishment. When he was here on the earth. He separated. Political ideologies from the teachings of God. And political ideologies are. Have no place. In the church. At all. They have no place within the gospel. At all. So if you're Democrat, I don't care what side you are. If you're Christian, you're Christian. I don't give two fine fucks. What matters? How anybody can tell if you're really Christian? Very specifically. Look up James chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. And also, Matthew. Somewhere Matthew or somewhere in the New, uh, New Testament, Jesus specifically says, by their fruits you shall know them. Which means, by how they talk, by what they do, by how they live their life, you shall know if they're of God. You shall know if they're Christian or not. They should know if they're real followers of God or not. And to those of you who are not Christian, really listen to this message. And try not to let other people's actions set in stone the negative beliefs that you already have. Granted, yes, I, I understand that you're on your own path. You've chosen your path, and I respect that. But to have that negative view because of one Christian, because of one so-called Christian, that's not right. Because not all Christians are like that. Not all Christians will preach hate. Now, not all Christians will gatekeep on, on who is going to heaven or not, or, or who is part of the Christian church or not. Not all of them are. Not all of us. And those who are, they will answer to God very severely one day. So, hope all... All is well with every one of you guys, every one of my followers, and every one of you who is watching this or will watch this. Hope all is well, and we'll talk to you soon. Tell me, how many of you have either thought what I'm going to say or have heard it or have said it? How many, how many people have you converted? How many of you have brought people to Jesus? How many disciples do you have? How many people have you led to the Lord? Basically, how many people have you converted? Okay. A 
let me let's break some news to you. Okay. Throughout your life as a follower of Christ, you will not convert one person. Our job as followers of Christ is to lead people to God and let God do the rest of the work. By saying, well, I've converted so many people that you essentially taking the glory taking all the glory for bringing telling people about Jesus when it's not our job to fully convert it everybody it's not our job our job is to lead people and guide people to having faith in Christ to having f a strong unshakable faith in Christ That's it. See, when we give, when we let God have all the glory, when, when we let God do the work, when we lead people to God and let Him do the work and let them make the exercise their own agency that they have to either choose God or not, we will be blessed. But by saying, oh, I've converted so many people. I've led so many people to Christ. That you take in all the glory for yourself. And that's essentially what, that is what the adversary did wanted to do so I challenge you have a new mindset change your mindset on that when you tell people about Jesus when you lead people to faith let God do the work give God all the glory because essentially when you do that he is working through you